Hello, hello, hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am so happy to have you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I put out on the channel. Today is going to be nice and easy and short. I'm just going to be showing you how to add a favicon into your ClickFunnels account. So if that's something that you're interested in, then let's jump into the video. You see the weather today not working in my favor regarding the lighting for this video. I don't want this to be some boring tutorial video where it's like click here then do this even though you have to do that in order for it to actually be a tutorial video but let's have some fun. First off let's talk about what a favicon actually is. So if you go onto your computer and you look at your tabs if you're anything like me you have a gazillion tabs open but in the top left hand corner of the tab there is essentially a little logo that just helps you identify what tab is what it's small but it's very important and makes a big difference when you're building funnels in click funnels and you don't add anything in for that favicon slot the click funnels logo is automatically in there but if you wanted to add a custom one i'm going to show you how to make it and add it into your click funnels account <laughs> First off, we need to create the favicon. So if we go into Google and search favicon dimensions, they're gonna say 16 by 16 pixels, or sometimes larger dimensions, which can be 32 by 32 pixels. But if you go into Canva and try and make a custom design, 16 by 16 pixels, Canva does not allow that. The most you can do is 40 pixels. So I created a favicon template that is 42 by 42 pixels, and I haven't had a problem with it. And so you're gonna go ahead, create your custom favicon in here. Make sure you use bright colors, keep it simple, relevant to your brand. So we're gonna go ahead and download this and then we'll jump over into our ClickFunnels account. Now that I'm here in my ClickFunnels account, I'm gonna go up to the top right hand corner and click on account settings. Once we have that loaded up, on the left hand side here, if we scroll down just a little bit, underneath page templates, we're gonna click on digital assets. Then we're gonna go ahead and in this top right hand corner with that big yellow button, we're gonna click on add new asset. We just need to upload the picture of our favicon that we downloaded from Canva. So I'm gonna go over here and click on choose file. I'm gonna go ahead and select my image I'm also going to name the asset and then this from name from email message you don't need to worry about that for the favicon and then I'm going to go ahead and click add. Now you can see that it shows up right here as one of my digital assets. This also shows up success digital asset was successfully created. So now I get to go into any of my funnels and add this in. But before we do that we need to go over here to these three buttons on the right hand side of the favicon digital asset and click on copy asset path. So once that's copied, it's copied the link of the digital asset. And now I can go into one of my funnels. And now that I'm in the funnel settings, I'm gonna go over here to the top right hand corner and click on settings. And this is the settings for the entire funnel, not just the funnel step that's selected. And once I'm here, I'm gonna go down here to favicon URL. and just click on that link, delete it, copy and paste. And then the, an important step you need to remember is scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on save and update settings. And when you're working on your funnel steps in the edit phase, the favicon is not gonna show up, but once you preview the funnel, then it should show up in the top left hand corner super fast video today, but I hope you guys gained some value. You were able to add an awesome looking favicon into your ClickFunnels account. And make sure too, if you want that favicon to show up on every single one of your funnels, you just need to make sure that you go into the settings for every single one of those funnels and add it in. Not too bad, super easy. If you guys found some value today, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I would so appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Bye dudes. Just just bear with me. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Good old click funnels favicon. This will be the most fun favicon adding to click funnels video you'll ever see.
Man, we are in a fun, fun mood today, folks. <laughs> Party time.